Hey everyone, in today's episode, we're going to learn how to add fire to our 3ds Max scenes with Finish FD. First, we need to create the object that will emit the flames. This can be anything from a simple plane or bots to a complex mesh. With the object selected, navigate to the Finish FD toolbar. Since we want to create fire, let's select the fire preset. This provides an excellent starting point and can be used as is for many scenes. After applying the fire preset, click the play button in the Phoenix FD toolbar. We can quickly see the fire simulation. And after rendering, we can see how the fire light affects the surrounding objects, just like in real life. Sometimes we want the fire to start only on specific faces of the object. To do this, first, select the object and convert it to an editable poly. Change the polygon material ID. Use a number that has not been used before. I prefer selecting a number above 50. Select the PHS source. This is the flame-like icon on your screen. Then go to the Modify panel and scroll down until you see the Polygon ID field. Finally, change it to the number you selected earlier. If you have another simulation, you can delete it by pressing the trash icon. Now, when we hit the play button again, we will see that the flames appear only on the faces we selected. Phoenix FD can do more than just a basic flame. We can adjust the parameters to perfect the fire for our scene. You can select the Phoenix FD fire again. This is a green box on your screen. We can cool the fire by changing the cooling setting. This is like letting a real fire consume itself. If we have smoke and want the smoke or steam to disappear faster, we can use the smoke dissipation setting. Think of it as adding air to the fire. The smoke will spread out and disappear more quickly making the flames look less intense. Once you're happy with the fire effect, we need to render it. Phoenix FD works well with different render engines like V-Ray or Corona. Ensure your lighting and mood are configured to capture the fire and the smoke, as this effect tends to look more impressive in low light conditions, like evening or night. These are just a few basic examples. Phoenix FD offers many options to explore. Let's start with the presets adjust the settings and enjoy experimenting. You can find presets for candles, explosions, smokes, or liquids. The best part is that all these effects can interact with each other. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.